In this video, we are going to learn how to export the Gerber file for the design microstrip patch antenna. So this is the design microstrip patch antenna. This particular antenna has three different components which are listed here. The ground layer, the patch layer and the substrate. So the ground is the bottom copper plate, the patch is the antenna which we have designed and the substrate is the dielectric material. Uh, so we want to generate all these three files. We want to have all these three files in order to send it to the manufacturer so that manufacturer can print it for us in a PCB. And for that we should have all these three different layers. We should export these layers in a particular file format so that the manufacturer can understand and fabricate it. And for that, there are some uh, Gerber file format defined globally and uh, we are going to just export it using the CST tool. You can easily export these three layers in those globally standardized layers and for that, let us start with the ground layer first. So, if I need to select ground layer, then we will go to modeling and import export. In the import export, you need to go to export section and here 2d files and uh, my manufacturer consider this particular format Gerber single layer so I am selecting it here you can choose any based on the manufacturer's convenience and it's now says Gerber export press return to confirm or ESC to cancel so let me click enter and now I'll save this file let me delete this here and I'll save this as ground now there is this next layer patch i'll again do that import export export gerber single layer it says no layer could be determined for the gerber export uh, okay then there is the substrate layer let us try for the substrate layer export 2d file gerber single layer it says return to confirm or yes to cancel i click enter return is enter here and then i save it substrate And now the patch layer is still remaining. So what happened if I am trying to generate this patch layer, it says no layer could be determined for Gerber export. So the reason for this error is actually this particular uh, patch is not on a ground plane. You see, it is not connected with the ground plane or the reference plane for that. What should we do? Uh, as I have explained earlier, we need to define a local coordinate system for that so we'll do that thing uh, we'll select local wcs local wcs is available and then we can align the wcs and how do we align it so i am just clicking this face it says to adjust the wcs pick a point edge or face so i'm selecting this face once this face is selected now the wcs coordinate system is on this particular patch so since our local coordinate system is on the patch now we should be able to export it so again go to modeling import export 2d files and gerber this time it does not throw any error and it says press return to confirm or ESC to cancel so i am clicking enter and now here i can save it as patch and save so this is how we have now three different layers here in our folder which are generated as different uh, layers for ground patch and substrate okay these three layers can be forwarded to the manufacturer and manufacturer will be able to design your pcb here we can testify whether we are able to see these files or not so for that what we are going to do we are actually going to see it on a online gerber viewer whether our files are exported clearly neatly or not okay so for that i'll go to this browser and here i'll type gerber viewer online and so for example this link is there i am clicking and it says Upload your Gerber file and drill files to render your board. Click and now I'll need to go to my folder and select all three layers. Click open. Okay, so here it says top layer and uh, I am selecting the format as ground copper, patch copper, substrate can be another layer uh, for example i'm keeping it 
outline also you can mention that the layer ground.gbr should be your bottom layer patch.gbr should be your top layer and then there is a substrate layer okay so click yes and now you click top your top layer is your patch there are other layers if you select on the bottom this will be your bottom layer and for example if you want to see your outline you just disable these two and you will be able to see the outline file which is your substrate file for the outer dimensions okay so this is how you can see all the three layers are generated here and the export was successful yeah so that is all thank you for please let me know for any comments or questions thank you